Hi, welcome back to another Princess Connect video. My name is Lace and today we are going to be talking about the new extreme dungeon, the Tideborn Tower. Honestly guys, like this guy is going to be a pretty hard boy. He's a Chimera level 120 and he's got all these stats over here. But before we get into the video, let me give a massive shout out to whoever made this guide. Like you guys who are making these guides should really, really need to like put your names on it so I can give you credit. Because to be honest, I have no idea who makes these and like I just find them in random discord. Oh. There we go. Massive shout out to Hope and Dream. Hope and Dream, thank you so much for what you do for the community and for me as well, actually. Because to be honest, I put together something, but it looks nothing as good as this. So again, massive shout out to Hope and Dream and let's jump into the video. So what he's put together is a whole bunch of team comps that could potentially work. So this is very, very similar to what happened like for the VH boss for the summer event. I know, I know the crabby guy, it's gonna get like real freaking crazy. And so what we have is like a whole bunch of these groups of teams. So it's like, for example, we have this team three and then we have like three teams of team three. However, because the majority of them if not all of them are actually full autos i think it's actually okay so he's done the research for us and he's actually added the sources as well if you need the source so what i'm going to do today is i'm going to try run one of these and hopefully it should actually just work i can already see that i'm missing a couple of the key characters so i'm talking like shizuru i'm talking like Ilya. but otherwise i have some level of confidence in this uh, maybe we'll see we'll see what happens so before we jump into the dungeon let me go through the rest of the spreadsheet and there's actually quite a fair bit so down here we have a bunch of tips and i think the most important ones is like tip two where you want to charge as much tp as you can on like the other teams before the boss tip three is probably more about like the cheesing but like you need a five star miyako for it i probably wouldn't recommend it and to be honest just try clear it with like one of the other teams tip four is one that i always say like in every single dungeon release and that is even if you can't finish the latest dungeon like through the boss if you can get to the stage before the boss then that's already better in terms of coin efficiency and then tip five this one's an interesting one for four star makoto you'll need a healing support however i would recommend that you try to just use five star makotos just so you can like use a whole bunch of these comps all right so next we have a miyako cheese so this is a really really interesting comp and by comp i mean miyako it's just miyako actually so what you need is a five star miyako equipped with rank 10 3 and it's all fully refined to be honest i'm not going to read through this because like it's just wasting your time wasting your time because it's not what i'm going to be showing you guys today but this is definitely a valid strategy i did see this and it's actually pretty funny however i do want to say it is a lot of work so if you do want to use this one check it out here moving on we also have this one over here. So we have the extreme one dungeon. We have the enrage animation cancel skill three. This one is actually a really, really interesting one. However, it's really, really involved. And like, to be honest, I just want to auto it. But the thing is, if you don't have like that many built units, so like perhaps you're not at end game yet, then this is probably what you're going to be looking at. Remember guys that there is that stamina furniture. So you guys probably do want to clear this like ASAP. And so you guys should do everything in your power to actually get the first clear on this, whether it be the Miyako cheese or like this one down here. Other than that, next we have uh, another cheese. This one is really interesting and considering we just got Rin from like the dungeon shop, like this is very, very viable. However, this is quite involved and definitely not like an auto comp. But looking at this, like look at that, that's actually quite achievable. Two star Misato, two star Chika and like three star Rin, all of these dungeon characters over here, no DAs used over here. And the only really big requirement is a five star Yui. Most people probably won't have a five star Yui, but like, you know, I digress. And if you guys did actually manage to get your summer Susan May then there you go. All right, guys. So let's move on. And this is the last one. So another beginner friendly low requirement comp. So like I said, you do need to cancel the boss one hit thunder. But yeah, again, I'm not going to be using this one. It's going to be in the description below. And with that being said, let's pick one of these ones and away we go. So I'm looking for a set that I have the majority of. And it's pretty funny because I don't have Akino. I don't have like an Ilya. I don't have Shizuru. I definitely don't have Summer Kiaru. If anyone has her, then let me know because I want to know how you got it. I don't have Jita. I um, I'm probably gonna go with, I think this one actually no this one over here is probably the closest thing i have however like i said i don't have a shizuru so what shizuru brings is an aoe physical defense shield as well as heals and so i'm thinking there are a couple of ways to make up for this i don't know if a miyako or a lima is enough but i'm going to try those two at least i'm also thinking of trying a kuka as well but otherwise let's try a couple of different things and let's see where this gets all right that was so much talking let's just hop into the game and see how we actually do okay guys remember that this is from the perspective of an endgame 
game player. So like, don't be too upset if you really can't do this, okay? Like, it's okay. All right, we are loading in. This is some like SAO levels. It's not really SAO level stuff. We've got a couple of cutscenes here and I'm just gonna skip past it and then I will see you guys on the other side. All right, guys. So again, I'm gonna be trying this comp. I'll probably like post it up here just so we can keep track of like what's going on. And essentially, again, I do want to charge the TP for those characters. So let me slap the start button and then put in my first comp and let's see how hard they actually are. So this is the team one comp that we'll be using. However, let me switch a couple out so we can get their TPs fully charged. So Yukari, let me get a, that should be in. Uh, she can come out. I'm gonna get my Susana in. All right, so let's try this comp out and hopefully we shouldn't die to anything. Ugh, please, it'd be so weird if these guys are strong. All right, here we go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I don't wanna, wait. Actually, they look pretty easy. All right, I think it's no issue. Okay, we can triple. Yeah, okay, it doesn't look like it's an issue. They, they are a little bit tankier than the other ones, but like for the most part, it should be okay. So I think I'm just gonna skip through all of these ones because like they seem pretty easy. So what actually gave it away that they were kind of easy was, ooh, look at all that. Oh, wow, okay, eight. So it's actually four base. That's pretty freaking good, guys. That's pretty freaking good. And so what actually gave it away was when I clicked into them, the power was actually only like 38, 40K. So I was like, this might be actually okay. So again, guys, I'm just gonna charge my tv and like i'll see you guys at the boss okay guys so i just finished floor four and i have to say it's actually a little bit hard i think by floor four it actually went up to like 54k power and whilst i did get all of my units charged up there were like some risks or like some points in which like my units might have died and so guys especially for your first clear i would say kind of try to pay attention it's not a hundred percent audible but it's like 90 percent audible if you're an end game player obviously if you're on end game like definitely keep an eye out okay and so now we are at the chimera boss so let's give this guy a shot i'm gonna try the first comp we're gonna try full auto it and hopefully it goes okay so again it just looks like this i'm just gonna borrow a support where are all the makotos okay holy crap there's only one makoto that's so freaking weird all right guys so this is my team one hopefully it works we're gonna go full auto and let's see how it goes so what we are looking for with this comp is like you want to be at about like 55 60 percent like hp by the time you finish this boss so if i don't see that i'm just gonna like force reset you guys already know you can have unlimited resets out of the dungeon. So let's just run this on auto. Oh my gosh, I didn't have the auto on. Okay, hopefully this is going to go okay and I won't have to reset. Uh, okay, this is... So we're going to be ending at about here. So if we hit that, then we're okay. If we don't, then I need to reset. Um, let's not move the goalposts too far though. I'm, I'm hoping I'm doing enough damage. I feel like I'm not. My Makoto is dead. Uh, hold up, wait, this isn't actually looking that good. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Okay, wait, I'm not gonna make it. Let me try this one again and we'll see if it works. Hopefully it actually freaking works because like this is really scary actually. All right, we are gonna go in again. Hopefully the auto button is already on, but that shouldn't matter too much. All right, let's go right into it. And another one over here and let's go. Please work. I hope it works. Okay, nice. Nice, Jun. Okay, Tamaki. And hopefully we should end about like about here because if we don't then I'm gonna be very nervous considering this is my first playthrough as well on this one because when I did it on JP like it was significantly easier because there were just so many like I got a crit that's not really fair I got a crit uh, okay okay nice and we're gonna get that and oh dear lord okay I didn't even get a chance to quit Holy crap, I hope this actually works. To be honest, I'm a little bit nervous now because that was actually really brutal. All right guys, so this is the team two and let's see how we go. This is pretty good because like my Makoto has like no TP and hopefully she should get like the TP gain from the Yukari. And she doesn't, okay, that's all good. It doesn't matter. Hopefully this will just still work out. Um, Let's see how it goes. This, uh, there was a crit there as well. I'm feeling a little bit too lucky. Actually, you know what? That's actually a legit kind of like strategy. If you just like kind of fish for crits, if you keep like force resetting for crits, then you know, it could, wow, was that 74K? That was actually pretty big damage. However, we are at 30 seconds. So we have about 20 more seconds of battle time. I think I'm actually gonna make it here. I think I'm gonna make this one. Uh, I'm gonna see if there is anything that I need to. Jeez. I'm not gonna get used. Holy crap, that's crazy. 
That is so crazy. That lightning is like so nutty. But it does look like we actually got really freaking close. So we are down to, okay, honestly, I have enough units to know that I can just throw like literally anything onto this, like to do 400k damage. I just have so many units left. Do I? Wait, do I really? Actually, I don't. Holy crap. I mean, the best I can do is actually throw together another physical team, like something like this, right? Maybe something like that. Uh, my support is gone. You can only support once. But yeah, wow. Actually, I don't have that many units. I do have the Hiori, which is going to be massive. So I could actually consider running something like this into it. You know what? I'm just going to go off script and do it. However, what I do realize is that I don't have any sustain. So I might pick up like a Maho or a Yui into this. Let me just try to do that and maybe this will work. Let's see. Let's see if this is going to work. Like honestly, I just put this together like right now. I was just like, oh, like we have a little bit of physical defense down left and like we have these two pretty strong units and hopefully we will actually be able to finish it. I reckon we'll be able to finish it. Honestly, this is okay. This is not as bad as I thought it'd be. I thought it'd be... Whoa, 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 hold up, hold up. What the frick? Okay, I don't think this is actually going to work. Uh... Uh, okay, sometimes I give myself way too much credit, you know, so clearly it's not gonna work So I'm just gonna retreat and let's go try that other team comp. Okay, <laughs> let's just go like stick to the script All right, so this one was a Shizuru which I didn't have so I'm probably just gonna try Miyako and then it was a full magic comp Which is pretty cool. Like I'm pretty happy that I get to use my magic units All right, so let's try this one and hopefully we'll be able to beat it in one turn because it's clear It's very clear that like, you know, I can actually finish this i just wanted to see if i could put anything in and hopefully it works but we'll see and uh, i don't i'm not feeling overly good about this i feel like i'm gonna die at that same point actually no it should be fine yeah it should be fine okay this is this looks okay it's actually why why is this safer that's so interesting why is this a little bit safer than the other one that's okay yeah i'll take that i'll take that i guess this is what i'm gonna be running Mm. I hope you guys have these units as well. Like if you guys are in like top like 25, top 100, I'm talking in terms of like CB, you guys can probably do this like pretty relatively easy like what I just did. However, guys, again, if you're not up to there, then you're probably going to have to use one of the like the cancel comps. And honestly, I've had a look at quite a few of those cancel comp videos and I think it's actually okay. It's not too bad. So honestly, that's pretty sweet. I got like my snow cone fairy floss looking thing and yeah, let's take away with that. Let me hit okay and we are done. That was, <laughs> that was interesting actually. That was, I think, it was kind of a little bit shocking, you know? This is why I have no friends. All right, guys, and that's kind of it for this one over here. So I don't know if there's much else to show you guys here. I just want to go back to the spreadsheet real quick and like take one last look at it. Because honestly, like that run, <laughs> it just had a lot to digest with, right? Like I actually could have wiped and I might not have been able to do it. And so what I really wanted to have a look at is kind of like the ideas behind each of these comps. So as you guys can see, the Kokoro, Tamaki, Makoto, Kaori, Jun comp, it's actually quite a big staple it's actually featured in a lot of these teams and so like i really would suggest like using one of these ones generally speaking if you guys are kind of like mid end game you guys should have like a four star monkoto that's kind of what i foresee as like the biggest barrier to entry for these ones however i just used a three star jun and it seemed to work with it but yeah i just wanted to go through a couple of these and have a look at like some potential replacements especially for like some of the units that like we have less of so like potentially this one Ilya here so instead of using Ilya, you can potentially use like kyoko because the only thing that Ilya really brings is like kind of magic DPS and actually to be honest it's actually like an identical comp to this one over here so I guess I think all of these mages are kind of like interchangeable as long as you're not using like Eeyore or Anna I think it's going to be okay from the DPS side we have a Hiori over here however I am a big fan of the archers so like you know the Shiori the Suzuna but with that being said it looks like it's generally the same right so you can see that there's a Nozomi comp there is a Jun comp and then there's a magic comp and the reason I talk through it like this is because you know there's going to be a lot of people who aren't gonna have like all of the units so like you guys saw i didn't have the shizuru so i had to like kind of make do with my miyako and that was okay and so hopefully i hope that you guys can do something similar so for example if you guys don't have like a five star shiori i would definitely recommend like trying this comp especially because it's only a four star hiori but on top of that it's a five star mimi which we actually were able to farm through an event with that being said though we also were able to farm a five star shiori so technically like there shouldn't be any excuse if you guys have been playing a while but to be honest you guys can actually just like run like any 
these comps. Like, look, there's a couple where it actually features four comps. However, again, these are all full auto comps. And if you guys really can't do this, then I would highly suggest using one of these ones down here. Again, there is nothing wrong with this one. It's just that these ones are a little bit more involved. So if you can't do those auto ones, then definitely check this one out. To be honest, I think that's kind of it. I think that's the entire guide. Honestly, this is an awesome guide. And again, thank you so much to Hope and Dream for putting this together. If this was not meant to be like in the public domain and it was like, you know, leaked, then I'm very, very sorry. But otherwise, again, massive shout out to this guy because like, to be honest, I didn't do like any of the work here. All I did was I picked up his guide and I gave it a shot. Yes, I did have my own version, but it looks like crap, like compared to this. Okay, with that being said, let's wrap up this video because there's nothing left to talk about. You guys already know what to do. It is secret question time because like, I want to know, was it actually easy? Come back when you've actually managed to try some of these and let me know which one you actually used. So for me personally, I actually used team one. So I want to know if you guys use like team two, team seven, or if you guys did like the cancel method, or if you guys like went down here and did like the low requirement comp. It'll be interesting to see because to be honest, I think like with all of this, like everybody should be able to do it as long as you hit kind of like almost end game. Not everyone's going to have the Juns, not everyone's going to have the Makotos, like, but like there are actually a couple of different methods to do it. So yeah, let me know which one you guys went with and drop that in the comments below. Because as you guys already know, if you've made it to this video, like you've made it to the end. And for that, I am very, very grateful. So thank you. Moving on with the ending sequence, you guys already know what it is. If you guys have like found this video helpful or kind of liked it, then consider a like, a comment, a sub, a follow, a pin, a follow. But otherwise, as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.